What's up guys, JB2017 here, and I am very excited to unbox and show off the new little toy that I got in the mail earlier this week. It is the Oculus Rift bundle with the Asus Oculus Ready G11 CD desktop. First off, I want to let you all know that this is not a professional unboxing video. The camera is going to be shaky and the lighting won't be great, but I tried the best with what I had. So in this unboxing video, we'll look at everything included in the Rift box, as well as a brief look at the setup with the PC and the Asus G11 CD that came with it. Starting from the top, we're going to take a look at the Oculus Rift packaging, the box that it came in. First off, you had this nice white sleeve on the outside. The design kind of reminds me of an Apple product, the way they did this. Then on the back, you've got a few key launch titles and everything everything that came in this box. So you've got the Oculus remote, the sensor, the Rift itself, the headset, and also the Xbox One controller. We'll look at those one by one as we move on. Inside of the sleeve is the black box that contains all of these items. I really like the way they made this. The O is there and it's made of this nice pleather kind of material. I don't know how to describe it really, but you've got a magnetic flap and then you flip it open and you see basically everything you need to see, except you need to open it the right way because I opened it the wrong way, obviously there. So you've got your headset, your sensor, and of course the Oculus remote up there. It's got a nice let's get started telling you exactly where you need to go to set this stuff up. And again, I'll show you guys briefly kind of what that looks like and how that process works. But the remote was kind of stuck in there. I had to kind of fiddle it around but it feels really nice it doesn't feel cheap it's got kind of a trackpad kind of thing that reminds me of the old iPods back in the day and so you can use that to kind of navigate media on the oculus next I'm taking out the sensor which is supposed to sit I believe on your desktop or nearby at least and it's got some really kind of sensitive lenses and whatnot you can't get water on them you just kind of have to be careful and that's connected via a long USB cord so you can kind of mess around with that now looking at the most exciting bit the headset itself and I've got to say I'm really impressed with how far this thing has come along in terms of design if you've been following the oculus and the dev kits over the past few years things have not looked very pretty at certain points but this full version right here it's really pretty the retail version it's really pretty to look at and it's made out of some strong material that makes it feel sturdy you know it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart it feels like it's worth the hundreds of dollars i paid for it also you can see the plastic covers covering the lenses you have to be really careful with those obviously no water but also no direct sunlight so you have to store this thing if you're in a sunny area near a window make sure it's not contacting those lens. The last item is hidden in this little compartment here. It's the Xbox One controller, and they give you two options if you want to have this plugged into your computer. They've got a USB extension cord that's pretty long, or if you just want to do wireless, if you're going to be right at your desk, you have no need for that, then you can just use that as well. But it's a standard Xbox One controller, comes with a few batteries, of course, and nothing else to really say about this. I cleared everything from this table to show you guys each of these items one by one, kind of by themselves, so you can see them. Everything looks really nice and cohesive together, and you can tell they spent plenty of time designing and making sure these things all look nice together looking a little bit more at the sensor and the remote and then I'm going to pick up the headset and show you guys a little bit of kind of the cords and whatnot I knock on wood here because I don't want to drop this thing I was talking about dropping it and I had to redo this audio if you couldn't already tell but yeah the headset is just really impressive you got the speakers on the sides I'm showing you guys right here those kind of extend on your ears they can go up and down there's a lot of different things you can do with the straps which I'm going to show you guys in a second here but all in all the design everything looks looks really, really cool, feels great. Before we jump into the setup process, gonna show you guys a little bit more of this headset and kind of the cords that are involved in a little bit of the setup you'll see on my computer and also talk about that bundled computer. I don't show a lot of it in my footage, but anyways, on the headset, you've got both a USB and an HDMI. Those are the two things that come off of this headset and they need to have, you know, be in a very specific dedicated place on the back of the Asus. With this Asus, of course, you're gonna need to plug in the sensor, as I showed you guys right there, the USB. That's the keyboard and mouse that came with this Asus. And here it is, the Asus G11. And again, I didn't record a lot of it, but it does glow a nice red and it says Oculus ready on it. And on the back, it shows you exactly where to plug in all of this stuff. So if you do indeed get the bundle, then it's going to show you where to put everything. It's really simple. Now switching over to the desktop, the first thing you have to do, of course, is plug everything in. Once again, you've got an HDMI and a USB 3.0 for the headset itself, and then one USB 3.0 for the sensor. That's the first thing you need to do, and you got to make sure that the HDMI is plugged into the right place. I had that issue, and it took me a little while to figure that out, but once I did, everything will say OK, and then you can go ahead and click Next to move on. 
Next comes the Oculus Remote. Not really going to spend any time on this. You just press something, pull something out, and your Oculus Remote is set up and connected. Very easy. The Xbox One controller setup comes next and obvious. Very easy. You just need to plug it in. If you want to do wireless, plug that into a USB and you're good to go. Now we have the sensor, which involves a couple of steps. First off, you have to confirm your height. I think this is for a lot of the games where you're going to be standing up, although I haven't played any of those yet, so I don't really know. Put my height there. Yes, I'm a tall person. I know. And so that kind of accounts for that. And then you have to place your sensor. So I kind of put it in the corner of my desk like this guy does in this fancy video here. Nothing too complicated there. You just need to make sure it's at least three feet away from you in order to function properly. And then the next test is to kind of wave around your Oculus headset, your Rift, to make sure that the sensor is picking it up and working properly. That was no issue for me. Kind of silly, but at the same time, it seems necessary in order to get things to work. This last section for the headset is all about making sure the headset is fitting your head correctly. Of course, people have tons of different sizes of heads, so they had to make this in a certain way to accommodate big-headed people and small-headed people. But the big thing is that the tracking triangle in the back, you can see that triangle in the back, needs to be with your eyes and eye level, because that's basically where the sensor is tracking where you're looking, and so that's really important. And to demonstrate, here I am with the Oculus Rift on. Please excuse my messy hair, but just showing you guys the tracking triangle in the very back. I don't show it very well, but that's eye level with my eyes. That's where it needs to be. Then you've got the headphones on the side extending to my ears very easily. You've got the straps on either side and the strap on top, which I don't show, but that's how you make sure that your headset fits properly. And that's everything that has to do with unboxing and setting up your Oculus Rift. For me, it took about an hour and a half, but probably because I was filming and doing certain things to prepare for this video as well. So if you don't get the bundle, I think the Rift will only take about 30 minutes to an hour to set up, maybe another 30 minutes on top of that if you do indeed get a bundle, because you've got to set up the PC, it's got to do its own thing, and all of that. If I had to give some preliminary thoughts or impressions, I'm really impressed with this technology. I can tell this is where things are going, and this does have a place for both core gamers and you know people who like to stand up and wave their hands around and arms around and do certain things like that. It has a place for both of those things. There's a lot of seated experiences. That's more what the Oculus Rift is about compared to the Vive, for example. There's two big VRs in the market right now, and the Oculus is more for those seated experiences. And I'm really enjoying what I've played so far. And I do plan on sharing some games gameplay here on the channel. I just have to figure out how to record and make sure all of that is nice, easy to watch just like any other video because I don't know how to do that yet. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. And if you did, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you're interested in seeing some Oculus Rift gameplay with me in the bottom corner, you know, webcam kind of style video, let me know. That's something I'm definitely willing to do. And I will absolutely do a few videos once I figure out the recording side of that. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more Fallout 4 gameplay and tips and tricks coming on my channel very, very soon. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.